Hey everyone, welcome to Excel Insider. In today's tutorial, I'll show you three easy ways to split Excel sheets into multiple files using Microsoft Excel 365. Let's get started. In this example, we have a list of products with their item names, categories, stocks, reorder level, and suppliers. Let's move to the first method. In first method, we will apply Excel's built-in filter to isolate data and then save each filtered view as a separate file. Let's say we want only the products from the furniture category in a separate workbook. Let's see how to do that. First, click a cell within the column to filter. Head to the data tab in sort and filter section select filter in category click the down arrow and select all and only choose furniture click ok this filters out all the products related to the furniture category press ctrl a to select all press ctrl c to copy the data now let's save this in a new workbook to do that go to file tab in home section choose new blank workbook this opens up a new workbook paste the data that we just have copied by pressing Ctrl plus V on your keyboard. To format the data set, click on the left corner beside A and double click on the line between column A and B. Now this data can be saved as a separate workbook. To do that, head to File tab in Save Us, click on Browse. This opens up a window for your file directory. Now select the location and rename the file. In this case, I will rename it as Product Inventory. Click on save. Let's check the file that we saved. Head to the directory. We have a file called product inventory. This way each filtered worksheet can be stored as separate workbook. Although it takes more manual effort, this approach is straightforward and works well for smaller projects without setting up automation. Let's move on to a quicker method. In second method, we will use Power Query to group and load data into new workbooks. Power Query is a data connection technology that enables importing, transforming, and combining data from multiple sources. If you are working with a large data set, then Power Query is a powerful tool that can help. On the screen is a data set of customer feedback with their names and locations. The goal is to extract customer feedback specifically from Montreal, and Auckland and store them in two separate workbooks. Let's dive in. Important note, make sure the data you're working with is formatted as a table to apply the Power Query. First, select the whole table, head to Data tab, in Get and Transform Data section, choose From Table slash Range. This opens up Power Query Editor window. Now in Home tab, in Transform section, select Group By. This opens up a dialog box. Choose Advanced. In the drop down, choose Location as we want to filter data based on location. Under Operation, choose All Rows and click OK. Now we will add a new query for Montreal and Auckland. To do that, go to Montreal Row, right click, select Add as New Query. This filters out all the data related to Montreal. Now head back to the table 1. Do the same for Auckland. Right click and select Add as New Query. In Home tab, in Close section, choose Close and Load button and select Choose and Load to. This opens an Import Data dialog box. In the dialog box, make sure it's chosen Table and New Worksheet. Click OK. This loads all the queries in a new table and a new worksheet. Now we can save each of these worksheets as new workbook as I have shown in method 1. And that's it. Each data set now can be saved in a separate workbook and can then be saved individually. This method is specifically useful for structured data set. Let's move on to the final method. In this final method, we'll be using VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, to automate the process of creating separate files for each sheet. According to Microsoft, VBA is a programming language that allows tasks to be automated and customized in Excel. For this method, we have a workbook containing three multiple sheets named Customer Feedback, 
product inventory and employee attendance. The goal is to save each of the worksheets in separate workbooks. Let's go through each step one by one. Before we get started, we need to enable the developer option. To do that, head to the tabs, right click on any tab and choose customize the ribbon. This opens up Excel Options dialog box. In Customize Ribbon tab, on the right hand side, scroll down and check on Developer box. Click OK. As a result, the Developer tab is now visible. Now click on the Developer tab. In the Code section, select Visual Basic or you can use Alt plus F11 on your keyboard. This opens up the VBA editor. Next. Click on Insert and select Module. This opens up a window. In this window, type this code. Let's take some time and understand what's going on. The first line initiates the macro and names the macro. In this case, we have named the macro as Split Sheets Info Files. The next three lines declares or prepares three variables or boxes to hold things, such as WS as a worksheet to hold worksheets wb as as a workbook to hold the new workbook and folder path variable as string to hold folder locations the next line creates folder and set folder path as you can see here we have set a new directory in the folder path called slash split files this should create a folder in our directory called split files the next line creates a folder in the folder path. The next sixth line is a for loop where the first line starts a for loop to go through each worksheet one by one. The second line ws.copy copies current worksheet to a new workbook followed by set wb equals active workbook says set the new workbook we just created as the active workbook. The following line saves the new workbook in split files folder using the sheets name as the file name. For example, if the sheets name is customer feedback, it saves the file as customerfeedback.xlsx. And finally, wb.close closes the new file after saving it. False is to make sure we don't save the file again as we have saved it already in the previous line of code. Next WS repeats the same process to the next sheet. And finally ends up ends the macro program. Now press F5 to run the macro. Save the file by clicking Ctrl S on your keyboard. Click on save. Let's have a look on the directory where we have saved the file. As shown here, there is a folder called split files and when we open it, we see each sheet in a separate workbook with their names and the format XLSX, completely automated without needing extra clicks. And that's it. Three simple ways to split Excel sheets into multiple files. The sample workbook is linked below. For more Excel and Google Sheet tutorials like this, visit ExcelInsider.com. Feel free to comment down your questions and feedback. Thanks for watching. See you next time.